Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a video on how to uh, import and export skin weight in Maya without using the ng screen tool. Uh, first of all, uh, we're gonna look at the file I'm using right now, and you can see um, the geometry is currently um, um, has the um, the skin bind, and uh, it's the joints are bound to the skin. So when I move the joints around, you can see uh, the geometry is moving around. Uh, let's see, like for some reason, you have to unbind because you want to change the models, you want to uh, modify the joints, um, there is something you want to change. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at um, the node that's uh, called Skin Cluster 18. So basically, this is the one that's connected to the mesh, and uh, uh, it basically stores all the um, the skin binding data. Um, so we're gonna export it. Uh, we know that under the skin manual, there is a function called export skin maps. Uh, please try not to use this one because this one doesn't really work so well and um, um, it just export a whole bunch of images. And when we imported them back, uh, sometimes um, it doesn't respond really properly. So what we're gonna do instead is I'm going to go to the deform menu and I go uh, export weights. It's at the very, very end. So as per weight. So with my mesh selected and the existing node we see is called the skin cluster 18. So I wanna save the data and um, I'm gonna save it here. So I just name it called body weight. XML. So I'm going to save here and I hit export. So here is finish. And then before we unbind, I want to do uh, one more thing is I want to see how many joints are actually connected to the skin cluster because once we import the weights, uh, Maya is going to see uh, the joints that's bound to the skin previously and it tries to match all the data. So. Um, I want to see how many joints are bound to the skin right now. So I go to the windows and uh, go to the node editor. I clear everything out. Now I'm going to uh, select the mesh. In the attribute editor, I'm going to select the skin cluster node. And in the node editor, I'm going to show the input and output. So here you can see um, this is the skin cluster node in the node editor. And uh, everything else here, they're all the joints that's currently bound or skinned to the mesh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this page. So I create a bookmark and say the bookmark is called body weight. So when I cleared it out, and if I want to use it again, I go to bookmarks and body weight. And you see, it just appeared to be uh, all the, um, the joints and basically whatever I saved here before. Another way you can save uh, all the joints that's uh, previously bound to the skin is I can select uh, all the joints here and I can create a new layer. So the new layer is called the um, skin joints. Okay, so I turn it off and I turn it on off again and see yeah it's everything is included here so the last thing before I unbind is I'm going to save a copy to make sure that everything um, works fine so I call it skin01 okay so that's everything we need to do we need to prepare before we unbind the skin and then here we go we go unbind the skin and we also delete history Okay, so we hit apply, and now you see um, everything is just unbound, and uh, the joints are no longer attached to the geometry. So let's see, um, let's say that um, we make some changes, and now we're ready to bond them again. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to select the layers, and I'm going to select all the objects, and I select the mesh, and go to bind skin. Uh, it's going to bind to select the joints, and I hit apply. 
and uh, I'm going to close. Did it work properly? Let me check. Okay, yeah, it works properly. But right now, um, uh, it's just everything is bound to the skin um, automatically. There's nothing. It's not the the manual paint that we want to have. Um, so I'm going to import the skin weight I just exported earlier. So I go to deform and at the very end it's called the import weight. So right now I know that uh, the new skin cluster node um, created is called skin cluster 20. So what we want to do is we wanted the file we just exported to overwrite this one. So everything is correct here. I go to file name and it's the body weight. And um, I want everything to be in the default setting. Sorry, I should have done it first. Okay, so we hit apply again, um, and everything it should work now. And you see, yep, so just everything um, is being back to normal, and uh, it just acts like we want it to be. Okay, so another issue that we, I often encounter is that um, when I rebind the skin, um, when I import the skin weight, it gives me an error. So I'm going to show you how to fix the error. So right now, as you can see, uh, nothing is really bound to skin yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I select all the objects and uh, I select the mesh and I select the joints, I bind skin, okay? And then I select the, um, the mesh, I go to deform and import weight and the skin cluster 20. And I go to the desktop, it's the body weight. And I hit apply. And so right now you see, it's giving me an error, it's telling me unable to find the match weight, set name, girl spine, blah, blah, blah. So how this happened is, uh, when I rebind the skin, I forgot to select certain joints. Say, um, in the first first bind, um, the data that we exported, say we bind A, B, C, D joints. But when we rebind it, we only bind A, B joints. So um, the computer is trying to find where are the C, D joints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my script editor and I'm going to see exactly uh, how exactly the warning work. So it's telling me that the warning unable to find the match weight, sign name, girl, root spine, top spine joint, spine FK joint 3, spine joint uh, 2, and spine FK joint 1. So that I know that there are exactly 5 joints. Um, I highly recommend uh, whenever you see the warning at the bottom, always go to the script editor uh, to make sure that you see the full image. So now I know uh, I missed the 5 joints. So I'm going to make it smaller. Now I know that um, the 5 joints that uh, I didn't bind them to the skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the bind skin. So I'm going to select the root joint here. Let's see, yeah. So this is the root joint. I select the root joint and I select the mesh. I go to skin. And uh, under the skin menu, there's the added, added influence. And what I'm going to do is add influence. And uh, let's see, use geometry, uh, weight locking. In this case, it doesn't really matter because we're going to overwrite it anyway later on. Um, but if you want to keep the skin weight that's originally there, um, usually we should check the lock skin weight. So, well, in this case, it doesn't really matter. So uh, I just do it anyway. So I hit apply and close. So the next joint I'm going to do is top spine joint. Let's see, where is the top spine joint? Uh, where's my... Okay, so this is my top spine joint, and uh, this is the mesh, so okay, later, and I add the influence. So here I add the second influence. The third influence is the spine joint 3, spine joint 2, and spine joint 1. 
So this is the one, two, and three. Okay, I'm going to. I'll see if I can all add them together at the same time. So add the influence. Okay, here we go. So uh, right now we add the the actual five joints uh, to the mesh. So I'm going to import the weight again and see if it works. So I go to the import, um, import weight, and uh, I'm gonna import it again. So body weight, open. Oh, I'm going to close it, and I hit apply. And here you see it didn't give me um, the warning anymore, so it basically it works, okay?